Christmas is not canceled, which was huge in July. I mean, I was on Instagram and like every other post was about it and it was really exciting. So can you tell us how that was created and kind of just, just walk us through that? Sure. Thank you so much for asking that. Oh my goodness. It's so kind and sweet of you. Again, I hope I don't cry. Whenever I talk about like children, I cry because I, I mean, it's all happy tears. I just love children so much. And I feel that all children deserve innocence and you know, the best that life has to offer. So, you know, not that 2021 has been any easier, but 2020 was a shaking and, and crazy year for everyone. And my business partner, Alejandra and I were joking, but in a way that was like, you know, when you have to laugh, you're going to either laugh or you're going to cry. And so we were chatting and we were like, oh my gosh, everything's getting canceled. Birthday parties are getting canceled. Weddings are getting canceled. Church is getting canceled. Holidays are getting canceled. Culture is getting canceled. People are getting canceled. Toys are getting canceled. What is happening? And we were like, they better not cancel Christmas. And then all of a sudden she and I were both like paused and we went to GoDaddy and we were like, is Christmas is not canceled.com available as a website. We have to do something with that. It was available. So we bought it. And then we sat there and we were like, okay, so, so, okay. So what are we going to do to help people this year and save Christmas from being canceled? And so then we thought about Toys for Tots, you know, they're an incredible organization. And last year, because I did USS Christmas with a military theme, we decided to call it Operation Christmas is not canceled. And, you know, through that, we we were able to donate uh, or give 10,380 children quality Christmas gifts. And we thought it was a one and done. You know, we thought it was like a good that almost killed us. It was fun, but it almost killed us because it's so much work to put these whole productions on. And then um, one of our partners, Balsam Hill, the best Christmas trees in the world. And I really do believe that. Like, Look, they are one of our sponsors, but I, my love for Balsam Hill, like I always tell Mac Harmon, their founder, I'm like, I think I love your trees more than you do. <laughs> I really love them. So I was stoked when they decided to partner with us because they have a heart for kids and philanthropy as well. So they, their marketing team called us in February of this year and said, Hey, so we're just kind of planning out our year and we want to really plan our whole Q4, which is the fourth quarter. It's huge for Christmas for every single brand. We really want to plan our Q4 kind of around what you guys are planning to do uh, again. And we were like, oh, are you, oh, we thought, well, we're just basically starting to come back to life. <laughs> we don't think we're ever going to do that again, um, but, but okay, let us think about it and we'll call you back. So we started thinking like, oh my gosh, are we going to be so crazy as we're going to do this again? We kind of put that conversation on pause. We were like, okay, yeah, we'll probably do it for Toys for Tots again. Okay, so let's think about it. And then I, I ended up totally unrelated to that so far, but all the stories start like merging. It was so crazy. I, I had been contacted by an incredible company called Sackcloth and Ashes. And Sackcloth and Ashes is a one-for-one -one blanket company where every blanket you buy, they give a blanket to a person who's currently experiencing homelessness. And so their founder, Bob Dalton, reached out to me because he realized that children in foster care, so many of them end up homeless. And in fact, 51% of people who are experiencing homeless actually aged out of the foster care system. So there's a huge con connection. And he was like, look, you're kind of the foster care girl. What charity should I know about that, you know, are really helping with this issue? And so I said, I child help, child help is amazing. So then fast forward, we, I brought him on a tour of their Virginia village and they have these incredible therapeutic villages where they're really psychiatric mental hospital facilities in a family cottage setting so that children can actually receive the therapy and the healing that they need because there are certain cases of child abuse that are so intense and so traumatic that they really need full-time therapy and instead of putting them in some sort of institution it's better to heal a child in a in a very calm and, and family and normal environment where they receive 24 7 therapy so I brought him to the village just thinking that I was like introducing him to this charity and I'm like advocating for child health who's like my favorite charity I mean they give like 92 cents of every dollar and their website says 88 cents of every dollar and I even talked to their founders one time and I was like Sarah Yvonne I saw your 990 which is like their charity tax form I was like, so you guys have way more than 88 cents of every dollar toward the program cause. Why don't you change that on your website? And they were like, oh, just in case we have a bad uh, you know, year, we would never want to lie to our donors. And I'm like, this is my favorite charity. Like their heart for transparency and for really doing the work is incredible. So I, I thought I was just there to like 
introduce Bob to them and, you know, really help them get on board and understand like what an amazing charity this was. And afterward, Bob started talking to me and I was like, he was thanking me and I was thanking him. And I said, Hey, Bob, I'm so glad by the way that I've discovered your company because I have all these ideas, like philanthropic business ideas. And one of them years ago, I have like a whole book of ideas. And I was like, one of them was the same idea that Sackcloth and Ashes have like a blanket company, a one for one. And I was like, can I just tell you, I always just wish I was just an actress. And so I am so glad that your company exists so that I didn't have to create it. Cause like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and he was like laughing about it. He was like, what are some of your other ideas? And so we started talking about backpacks for kids in foster care. And he was like, oh, well, do you know Comfort Cases? Who's Rob Shear's company and a charity nonprofit? And I was like, no, is, is Rob already doing backpacks? And he was like, well, sort of, but not with school supplies. And I was like, okay, great. And then Michael Maduro, their chief development officer from Child Help, he's like talking with, you know, the, the Child Help director over here about, you know, Child Help business. And he walks over, he's like, Jen, are you talking about backpacks? And I was like, yeah, do you know things about backpacks? And he's like, oh, I can help you with backpacks. We have this and we have this and we can help you with this. And so I called Ale on the way back home. And I was like, Ale, I was like, you remember that backpack thing we've been talking about? She was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, we're going to do a Christmas in July campaign. And so we ended up doing Christmas in July. We ended up calling back um, Balsam Hill and being like, okay, I guess we're just going to start a company now. <laughs> so we officially formed Christmas is not canceled Inc. And as you know, um, this July, we were able to provide 3,296 children with backpacks full of school supplies who are in the foster care system or who are at risk of entering because they are experiencing homelessness or their family can't afford school supplies. And that's a really big deal because 50% of children in foster care don't ever graduate high school. And there's a whole thing of like a set of reasons for that it could go into, but it was really important for us to be able to give them backpacks. And, and you know, then we, we ended up partnering with Comfort Cases further once we reached our goal of the backpack goal. And we were also able to give 1,657 pairs of pajamas to Comfort Cases to children just entering foster care. And so, I'm now in quarantine for a Christmas movie and I am, when I'm not talking to you, I am working on unrolling Christmas is not canceled fall campaign, which launches October 1st. And this year it's a very scary goal of doubling our toy donations to 20,000. We are hoping to give 20,000 toys to children all across the nation through Toys for Tots, also to all of the children at the Child Help Villages and um, also children get pajamas through comfort cases again. So we'll see how that goes, but you know, people can go to christmasisnotcanceled.com and how it works is anyone who supports our mission of giving the toys or you know, when it's July, it's backpacks, when it's fall, it's toys, uh, they will be entered to win the ultimate Christmas, which is you know, $25,000 worth of incredible prizes, cash prizes, Christmas trees, the, the dinner, you know, all the things that you would need to experience the perfect Christmas, you're automatically entered to win those each week just by supporting a child who needs a Christmas toy.